Hey everybody, it's uh, July 11th, 2020, and uh, another installment of our Days of Corona uh, private concerts here in <laughs> Bruce Jones' living room, Blue Springs, Missouri. Uh, today, just in today in history, 216 years ago, in Weewaka, New Jersey, Alexander Hamilton was killed in a duel with Aaron Burr. Yep. 260 years ago today, July 11th, 1804. So there you go, for whatever that's worth. <laughs> I'm going to do uh, five songs today. Uh, first one is called Cabin Fever. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, uh, about uh, that summer getaway in the North Woods. The second song is called Lisa Smile, a song I wrote for my friend Lisa Miller. Uh, the next song is uh, one called Tornado, a little kind of a, my first venture into sort of a jazz, some jazzy chords, sort of a, uh, a Brazil, little Brazilian sound in there. Uh, anyway, it, it is what it is, <laughs> as, as they say, as they say in the big wide world, it is what it is. Um, the fourth song I'm going to do is one called Root Beer Stand. This song has quite a history. It was the first song I ever wrote my senior year in high school as a senior project in 1970. And uh, it was supposed to be a parody of all the doo-wop songs from the early 60s, late 50s. Um, when I went to college after high school, um, this song sort of uh, took on a life of its own in college. Uh, we used the song in... Uh, a th an event we had called Spring Sing, where the different houses on campus would uh, all get together and sing and have a competition, and they'd uh, uh, judge the different performances and stuff. But it was it was a big social event on campus called Spring Sing, and my house did this song. And for that event, we printed up copies on the old mimeograph machine. You remember those with that wonderful smell and the purple ink? Yeah, you could get a high off of that stuff. <laughs> anyway, there. Were, hundreds of mimeographed copies of this song that were printed. And uh, I went to a, a school called Graceland College, which was a church school, and uh, had a lot of ca summer camps around the nation. And somehow some of the copies of this song ended up at church camps that following summer. Of course, we didn't, the song was never recorded. Back then we didn't record anything. And so people started writing new uh, melodies to these words, and this song spread around the country at church camps and be, kind of kind of became a little hit unto itself. All different versions of this song. Well, uh, Bruce got a, a wonderful message uh, from Connie Graham in Ohio about this song. Uh, she found my name somehow on, on the internet, saw me singing songs, and wonder if I was the same Chris Barr that wrote Root Beer Stand. Apparently, my name was on that lyric sheet. And it turns out, yep, that's me. I'm the one that wrote Root Beer Stand. Of course, the version you, you're going to hear is, is probably different than the one that her brother Steve wrote. She, he wrote a version of Root Beer Stand, apparently, and sang it at church camps. And uh, Steve is no longer with us, but I'm ho hoping he's with us in spirit to, to enjoy this, this song today. So this goes out to, to Connie and Steve Graham. Uh, and much appreciation, Connie, for, uh, for contacting Bruce. And I'm going to follow Root Beer Stand with the song I wrote. Uh, you, know, you know, there's young, Root Beer's about young love, and uh, the song I wrote as a way of proposing to my future wife, Casey. It's called Time to Dry Our Eyes. Enjoy. Enjoy. 